in even at Stanford, you can be too woke news. The Stanford dean who had confronted the Fifth Circuit Court of Appeals judge who showed up to the law school in order to give a talk has resigned. So the law school is hosting a sitting judge of the Court of Appeals. What a wonderful opportunity for all the law students, an opportunity to hear from a sitting judge about how they think about the law and how they approach legal questions and, and an opportunity to learn and perhaps ask questions. But the dean over here is not about that because they're a very, very bad judge who decides things the way that they don't like. So the dean is like, I'm going to confront you because you shouldn't be allowed to speak even though this is a law school and you're a sitting court of appeals judge on the federal level, you shouldn't be allowed to speak. So apparently you can be too woke because the dean has resigned. Let's learn a little bit more about this story. The Stanford dean who had confronted a Trump appointed judge after he was heckled by students during a speaking event has finally resigned months after initially being suspended for the incident because it violated Stanford's own rules on freedom of speech. Stanford has rules about freedom of speech and freedom of discourse, and the deans over are all here like, nah, fam. Tyrion Steinbeck, who was the law school's associate dean for diversity, equity, and inclusion, a dean of the law school, and this is a law school that's invited a sitting judge to speak, which, you know, seems like a pretty good opportunity, is leaving to pursue another opportunity, according to the Stanford law dean, said in a statement. Steinbeck had been marred in controversy and put on leave following a viral video of her blasting Judge Stuart Kyle Duncan during his visit to the prestigious university in March. Yeah, the dean, you know, the, they were invited to give a speech at a law school, and apparently this judge is so very, very bad that even at law schools, they shouldn't be allowed to speak, which seems pretty, you know, antithetical to the idea of what a law school should be, but, you know, okay. Steinbuck has been marred in controversy and put on leave following a viral video of her blasting Judge Stuart Kyle Duncan during the visit. Associate Dean Steinbeck and I both hope that Stanford Law School can move forward as a community from divisions caused by the March event. I don't know. What are you doing to help make sure that conservative justices and conservative judges feel free to speak at your school? How are you making sure that they feel welcome? How have you changed as a result of all this? That's what I want to know. The event presented significant challenges for the administration, students, and the entire law community. In a message to the community, Martinez admitted, again, the school failed to act appropriately when students protested against Duncan for, for ruling denying a transgender prisoner's request to have their pronouns changed in 2022. The students apparently yelling such thing as, we hope your daughters get R-worded, which seems pretty in incense, while holding up a sign that said, Fed suck, as Duncan yelled back to the mob. And they have a policy at Stanford Law about not allowing hecklers to, to disrupt speeches because everyone should be allowed to speak. That's Stanford Law's policy, right? If you don't like the speech, you can have your own meeting. You can have your own event. You don't have to, of course, go in the first place. But you can't disrupt someone else's speeches. So the students yelling, we hope your daughter gets R-worded, kind of intense. And the dean over here is like, nah, fam, they're just expressing themselves, even though it's literally against Stanford's own code of conduct. Steinbeck, for her part, as the dean, went to the podium to call Duncan's work abhorrent and that it literally dehumanizes people. So not exactly the most open-minded approach that we've ever seen in our lives. And now my eye decides to have a little bit of an allergy attack, so pardon me while we deal with that. Although the associate dean intended to de-escalate the tense situation in which she spoke, she recognized the impact of her statements were not as hopeless as she hoped or intended. By saying that your work is abhorrent and dehumanizes people, that was your attempt to de-escalate? You need work on that, ma'am. Both the dean and Stanford recognized ways in which they could have done better in addressing the very challenging situation, including preparing, preparing for protests, ensuring university protocols are understood, and helping administrators navigate tensions when they arise. These are opportunities for growth and learning around. And here we have a picture of the judge waiting as the dean chastises him from the podium. It's like, you know, you're a very, very bad man with very, very wrong opinions. And he's over here like, but I'm a sitting judge, though. I'm at a law school. 
Maybe you should listen to me and let me talk. But no. Steinbeck joins, Steinbeck joins, Steinbeck joins students in scolding Trump-appointed Judge Stuart Kyle Duncan at the event in March. Christy Trump, executive director of Speech First, an organization that's represented students' right to free speech against colleges, told The Post that Steinbeck's leave was a long time coming, saying, quote, we are thrilled to see Dean Tyrion Steinbeck is being held accountable for his actions, for her actions. She made it clear that she does not believe in principles such as open discourse and freedom of speech. These key principles are vital to college education as well as our legal system. The day Steinbeck violated campus's free speech policies and led an angry mob to shot that shut down a sitting judge simply because she didn't like his views was the day that we told the country that Stanford Law School has a much lower hiring view standard than we knew. Nice little burn there. Yeah. So yeah, even deans apparently don't understand their own college's policies on freedom of speech, which explicitly recognizes speakers, speakers' rights to speak without being heckled, because that way we have freedom of speech. And the dean over here is all like, nah, fam, because your opinions are abhorrent, and they de-recognize the humanity of people. And he's over like, but law, though. And the dean's like, but humanity, though. And the, the guys over here like, I thought this was a law class, not a humanities class. Much misunderstanding going along. News of Steinbeck's departure comes one day after Stanford President Mark Tesler Levange announced that he would resign, citing independent review that cleared him of research misconduct, but founding flaws in other papers authored by the LOP. The president of the entire college said that he's stepping down but expects to continue to debate about his ability to leave the university, but will remain on faculty as a biology, biology professor. So apparently they're having problems also in the overall university as a whole as their own person who leads the entire university is being forced to step down due to other problems. So Stanford Law and Stanford University not exactly doing the best that we all saw today. Thus, that brings us to the end for the moment of the Stanford DEI dean who has been forced to resign because they violated Stanford's own policies. When it comes to freedom of speech, and thank God someone got it on tape, because if there was no tape of this, there is no way that this would occur, right? It's only because someone had the temerity to tape it and release the tape to show what happened that the college was forced to confront reality, right? They could have denied that that's the way that it really went down. They could have denied that that really occurred, but the tape, though. So someone actually taped it and released it and showed the dean behaving in ways that violate Stanford's own policies when it comes to freedom of speech and freedom to not be heckled. And it's like, you know, if you want to not participate in this, you're welcome not to participate. If you want to have your own meeting, you can have your own meeting, but you can't disrupt other people's speech. And the dean's over here like, nah, fam, I'm not about that life. And because it was on tape, is being forced to resign. Also, Stanford University's college president is also being forced to resign due to problems of their own. So they have some issues over there, apparently hiring the right kind of talent. I'd like to once again note that I'm available and, uh, you know, not woke. So uh, if they need help, I'm here to help. But at least for the moment, that brings us into discussion of this case.